Okay, here we go. Last time I did this, I was in New York City. Now, it was in February 2022, right before I went to the opening of Beeple's Uncertain Future, and that was a smash hit. And now we're um, Halloween season, Scorpio season, and uh, I have the biggest boil of my whole entire life. Not sure how I got there, but it is bigger than ever. I'm in pre-production and um, shooting my comedy tomorrow. And I wanted to do this blue, this cobalt blue that I did in February, in June. And I went to my hair guy to have him do like some blonde so I could put the blue in. It took him three hours. I'm like, I gotta go. And I went to like all these events and my friends were like, oh my God, your hair looks amazing. So I left it. And that was in June, July, August. Whoa, September, October, like, wait, June, July, August, September, October. Wow. So yeah, my hair needs a refresher and I was gonna like, I like the blonde, so I was gonna go like go get a blonde again. But it's Halloween coming up, and I love the blue. And I'm like, why don't I just do this dull blonde, like not let it go to waste, and put the blue in it. It has way more blonde in it than I did it the first time ever. But the first time ever when I did it, I was like just doing the blonde, and it was very little, and I'm like, F it. And I did the whole entire head, and it became very dark. So I just did a little prep where I just took like the back, where it's not blonde and I put it up. So, and I'm not gonna do it like here. I'm gonna try not to, so it's not so dark. Even though it was like a really cool like Wednesday Adams Family kind of vibe, this time I'm just like not going all the way dark because I definitely like the blonde. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna do the blonde parts, my best. I'm just gonna do the best I can of just the blonde parts, right? So that's like, Okay, so go like put that over here. And then I'm just gonna rock it for a few weeks. It'll be cool, like with the blue. And then I'm gonna go and um to my hair guy and have him keep the blue, because it'll be amazing still, but then have him just do blonde here. So it'll be like blonde up here with the blue. <laughs> I am not a hairstylist, I am just a creative. So not just a creative. But why not? You know what I mean? Why not? Why? It's fun. Why not? I grew up... Story time. <laughs> what else are we going to do here? Okay, so I think I'll just put these gloves on. <sighs> Hope I'm doing this right. Okay, so I'm going to do the gloves. I'm going to do this. And I'll pause the camera because I'll have to shower. Oh, I have amazing nails. I did gel for the first time ever. Actually, I did it when it first came out and it put a lot of pressure on my nails and I never did it again. But now it's been like a decade, like literally. And I guess they're like lighter now because I was like picking at them, biting them off. I guess they're like a lot lighter. They've come a long way with the, you know, sciences and chemicals or whatever, I guess. So I tried it and oh my God, it looks so amazing. Like look how great they look for Halloween. Amazing, right? Yeah, they're, they're like flawless. Like they didn't chip or anything. So yeah, these are my nails. Want to keep them safe. So we wear the gloves. Got to make sure when I sleep tonight, there's uh, something on the pillow because the blue will fade. And anyway, so last time I did this, first time ever actually when I did blue, it's my second time doing same blue, same blue. Uh, um, I wasn't wearing a top because it's you know, more enjoyable, freer. However, since I'm putting this on camera, I still would want to not wear a top, but it might not be appropriate for some people. So anyway, here we are. I'm just wearing this black. It's like, yeah, it's fine. Okay, here we go. So here we go. I'm so nervous, but I'm perfect. So I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is like, it says cream. I think these are two different brands. I think I accidentally got two. Yeah, I think this is like a, I don't know why I accidentally brought that. So I'm not going to do the whole thing. And last time I just said F it because I just used the whole bottle. But I'll have this and they'll actually be leftovers. Not that I need it. You can just probably throw it away. I guess for people who wanted to do touch ups though. But all right, here we go. Ooh. Wow, it looks like purple. It's not those. I hope it's not. Oh fuck, what if it turns purple? No, it is cobalt blue. It is the color of the box, I hope. Okay. There we go. 
We're in motion. People are like, you did that by yourself? So I hope it turns out good again. Um, so I'm in pre-production for my new comedy pilot. I got an opportunity, two opportunities, to possibly show it at Art Basel. So why not? Make it happen. Just go out there, shoot, make it happen. See how it turns out. It could be good, ready to go for Art Basel. If not, it could be turned into a sizzle reel, get funding maybe for projects. The point is just to show up and create and make it happen. And wouldn't that be so fun if I had Oh, am I supposed to have my hair wet? No, no, no. Um, just don't want to know why it's not spreading too much. I hope I'm doing this right. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyhow, um, yeah, so I thought it'd be fun for the character for her to have blue hair. Why not? You know, when I go to like Brazil or somewhere on business, it's like, yeah, I'm there on business, but I like to like extend my stay and like see things if I can. So I always have like work, trip, business kind of things, unless you have to go to like one thing, something like right after, but why not? Why not? All right. Definitely important to wear these gloves. Definitely having cobalt blue hair after one hour. Yeah, so I kind of just went like that just to like do the, sh the highlights of the blue so I don't have to like have the top all blue. This blue goes a long way. Excited for the cast, the story, the idea to come to life. It's called Culture Kids. That's the name of the comedy project, Culture Kids. Think Andy Warhol, Velvet Underground. Before the world knew about the Velvet Underground. That's how the blockchain Web3 community is. It's like the people who know, know the builders and the culture of what's been happening like day to day, but like capturing it and putting it into like a comedy, you know? The, the space is all about like having fun, especially in a bear market and like memes and stuff. So I think it'd be cool just to, and even doing like NFT musics and like, different songs so I'm just taking it from an after perspective voiceover artist and sharing some stories with some amazing people in the space we're building you know friends creating something and just making it bigger and creating who's got to get all that blonde creating something and uh, showing it to the people, right? Ultimately, the people decide whether they love it or hate it, and then our job is done. Being storytellers. Storytellers. But I have some cool plans. Maybe I'll tell you about them now. It seems pretty easy. It's like I want there to be more, but I feel like maybe that's it. Yeah, I don't have to really do the top. It's like, and then it gets, wow. Because I did it, see how dark it is? Like that? It's like, Wednesday. But what's going to happen is this is all going to be blonde, which is so exciting. All right, let me make sure. I guess it's smart to have like a comb. That's pretty bomb, actually. I don't know how long I have to leave it in for. Throw away the box. Should do those kind of things. Probably 20 minutes. I'm gonna set a timer. Um, put a little more flow in here. I can always just 
Google it. The instructions. So the plan is for it to be four to five minutes long. It's a short pilot that could be turned into an NFT comedy movie, an NFT comedy series. Yeah. Um, but yeah, meant to maybe do an auction, who knows? Um, and um, put it on the blockchain. And then it'd be cool to like do one every month. So do like a commitment of 12 and have different people <laughs> in it. So excited for you to know the story. <laughs> you guys feel to wait for that, whoever. I should better wait for the story. I told you everything else, but why not? It's 2022, we're going backwards nowadays. People aren't doing things how they used to do them because maybe they work then, but they're not working for everyone now, and there's no ways to do things, so I don't know anything, and that's okay. <sighs> I'm excited for my birthday, which is 11-11. It's coming up. I've been reflecting on my Instagram post, what I'll write this year for the big birthday. <laughs> but I basically came up with it in a nutshell came to me pretty quick. Had big fill, shoes to fill, been striving for perfection, perfectionist syndrome, imposter syndrome, trying to be God's angel, being God's angel, being named after a saint, having a responsibility to fill her shoes. She and I had a talk to the ceremony during the pandemic in 2020 where I was able to dismantle some pressures but you know I've been spending 25 years just perfectionism and what you know being perfect to become this thing from this ego this idea this dream of like what I wanted for myself and what maybe other people wanted for me with good intentions but look where I am Great. So I just want to like take some pressure off. That's why it's like, that's why it's cool to do this comedy. Just want to have some more fun in life, you know? Just just have more fun. So I'm going to dedicate the next 25 years. The, these 25 years, I did dedicate it to where I am now. What I've done thus far. And now I need to take the pressure off of myself and be okay to mess it all up. To fall on my face. You know, so my next 25 years, the bar, there is no bar. <laughs> Taking the bar away. My standards, my expectations won't be so high. Some of them are so high, I couldn't even reach them myself, if you know what I mean. Huh. Just drop some blue hair. All right, I think I'm good. We are gonna be blue over here. Let me just You gotta get those baby blondes. I think that's gonna blend in nicely. Just hope the gloves don't crack and mess up my beautiful nails. Yeah, I'll be good. All right. Let's do a little more on the end here. Definitely have enough for a round two touch rubber when this falls flat. Yeah. All right. 
So I will pause this camera so I don't bore you any longer. And I will come back with the reveal. Which you get a lot quicker than I do. Some more blondes hanging in there. Oh my God, look at all that blonde. Wash the hands. Alright, I'm gonna do that. Yes, my nails are great. Yes, my nails are great. Okay, nails are good. See you after.